Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious chocolate ice cream that is gluten free, soy free, and dairy free. It is delicious, it's not a recipe, just a quick and easy snack that I love to make when I'm trying to eat healthy. But no matter what, I'm always going to crave chocolate. So this is one of my favorite snacks. I hope that you enjoy it, let's get started. The supplies you're going to need for your ice cream are one cup of dark chocolate almond milk, a gallon sized bag full of ice, and a smaller bag to put your almond milk in. And last but not least, one cup of ice cream salt. I'm doing a chocolate ice cream, that is why I'm using the dark chocolate almond milk, but you can also use the vanilla chocolate milk and add berries, or I really like the combination of almond milk and coconut milk, and you can do that as well, and it will work, and you can add other yummy things to flavor that. So I'm just going to take my baggie, my smaller baggie, and I'm going to pour one cup of the chocolate almond milk in there. And you can also do two cups. The serving size on here says one cup, so that is why I'm doing that. Pour that into my baggie. Now when you seal your baggie, you're going to want to make sure to get all of the air out and then seal it very tight so that you don't get any of that salt into your ice cream. That will be nasty. Now at this point you can also add berries or I love to add almonds or marshmallows. I love Rocky Road ice cream. So you can add those things. Today we're just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to show you how to make this basic ice cream. Okay, and that is ready to go. Now I'm going to take my ice cream salt and I'm going to use a cup of that as well. Okay, and then I'm just dumping a cup of the ice cream salt into our ice. And I am using ice cream salt, but you can also use any coarse salt. Okay, and now everything is ready, so I'm just going to put my baggie into this baggie. And then again, get all of the air out. And seal this very tight so that all of the ingredients don't fall out. And make a big mess. All right, now that our baggie is ready, we're just going to start moving that all around, mixing it all together. going to start to harden and form into ice cream. At that point you just want to keep on doing it to make sure that it is solid and an ice cream texture. So you're just going to continue to move that around in there and squeeze the bag and move it all around. All right, my ice cream is done. It took me about five minutes to get it to the consistency that I like, but depending on how much you use is going to depend on how long it takes. So anywhere from five to 10 minutes and then you have a delicious snack. Another thing I wanted to mention is that it's best to try to keep your baggie with the ice cream in it towards the top and not down in the ice water because it's going to get that salt in there. So I like to just grab a hold of it when it gets to this point and just kind of move it back and forth. Okay, and then we're going to rinse this with cold water just to make sure we get all that salt water off. We don't want any dripping into the bag. Now our ice cream is ready to go and you're just going to scoop it out of the baggie and into a bowl. All right, you guys, that is it for my delicious chocolate ice cream. I hope that this was helpful. Just a quick and easy snack that you can make if you're trying to eat a little more healthy. Like I mentioned, you can top this with any of your favorites. I love granola and bananas. Or like I mentioned, I love Rocky Road, so I love to put almonds and marshmallows in there as well. You could add berries, just anything. If you want a recipe on how to make regular ice cream this way, I will leave it down in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. Let me know what you think, and if you try it, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.